Oh, is that sun going? Right there. Good morning, everyone. It's another day. Another day of getting out there and trying to get a feed of something. And today we're after white bait again. I'm at another river this time. River a bit closer to my home. As I wasn't very happy with the white bait numbers from the other river. So we're just down here in some guy's spot that he dug out. Did a good job on it. There's no one here and I'm just going to spend a couple of hours and see what we can come up with today. So, as you guys all know, if you want to enjoy a nice relaxing day by the river, stick around. But hopefully we get some action as well. been a pretty sad year this year for me for white baiting though I've only been out four times so but we'll try this river here we'll try this spot it's not a bad little place so uh, yeah enjoy this little video yeah so I'm just gonna sit like this oh they're coming in my net bastards I've got to empty this little shoal out. Try to be quick about it. Oh, my old knees. Yeah, there's a few little ones in here. But I must fix this blooming neat up. Pain in the butt. Hey, little baby flounder in my net. I'll oh, let him go. That's. Oh. That's how small he is. Look at that. Pretty cool, eh? Well, I'll let him go. Yeah, boy. You can see the water's buddy pretty dirty in there. Look at that, man. Pretty ratchet, really. And I've got a few. Enough for a taste, so yeah. Normally, this time of the year, I would have a few bags in the freezer for the rest of the season, but this is getting bloody hard and hard to get. Well, for me, anyway. Good morning everyone. Well, it's the day after yesterday. <laughs> it's the day after yesterday, which means it's the day before tomorrow, and we're back here at the river. I've been trying to set my camera up for them in ages. I'm down here at the river again, and we're about to we scoop up a few white bait. This is the day after, and uh, I came down here, set my marker up, and straight away I was into some couple of little, uh, good little shoals. Uh, I'm trying to keep my camera. Every time I get my camera up, a shoal comes over. So I finally managed to set it up, and I missed two shoals while I was setting my camera up. They're quite flighty at the moment. After yesterday's uh, 
tiring day of getting bugger all. I we had a bit of rain last night, and I thought, oh, I might clear up tomorrow. I might go down to the same spot. Should I? Uh, but no, nah, you yeah, know. Nah. Got up this morning, had a coffee, and and as you guys know, that white bait that you get a bit of rain, you get a bit of fresh in the water, and it should bring the white bait on. And uh, they're pretty hard to get. I missed quite a few. They're a bit skittery, even though it's overcast. But I can tell you, I've got more than 10 minutes. Come some more. You guys just can't see it. These are quite. Oh, there's quite a few there. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So I've got more than. 10 minutes and I got in nearly four hours yesterday. <sighs> I'll just show you guys what's in my net at the moment. I took my jar off this morning. Look at that, there's a few in there. More than I got yesterday. Bouncing around, but I haven't had a chance to empty it yet. You've got to be on the ball, they're that quick. This one this morning, little shoal there, and this is just now. This looks pretty good. Well, if we're in here anyway, you guys ready to see this? Have a look. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at that. See, there we go. See. Yep, look at that. That's what it's about. Not bad, is it? Right, managed to get a few more in there. I'll go back to my car and get my waders out. As you can see, the tide's up quite a bit. And I'm glad I got my waders on. It's actually higher than yesterday. I think it's a big tide today. We have a two meter tide today, but man, that wind's just annoying me. Big time. Here comes some right now. Nice, nice, solid little ones. Yep, going to my net. Yay! Yay! Good timing. Yep, that's a nice wee shoal. Let's have a look at them. I'll show you guys. Oh, bloody hell. See? Well, you can't quite see them, but they're in there. Little. And as you can see, man, that wind is really choppy now. I can't, I can't see anything. Aisha, can you see anything? Hey, eh? had enough? You might shoot off, I think. Got enough for a feed. Oh well, I held off long enough. I thought it was going to be a wet day today, and we were alright. I meant to get out for a little bit. Uh, but I had enough. Oh, guess where I am? I'm still here. I thought, oh, look, the wind's just died down. I might just stay for one more scoop. And I managed to get another little scoop full. But I'm going home after this because I think they've died down. I'm not sure what the time the tides are. Let's check these ones out. Oh, lost one. There you go, there's a few bigger ones in there. But oh, they all taste good. If I was really doing like those ones. Yeah. I thought you said we were going to go home. But why go home when you can still manage to get a bit of white bait here and there? What's going on with this buddy net?
It all adds up. I think it will rain before the day's out. That's for sure around here. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, one more shot and then we're out of here. Okay. Oh, look, we missed that one. Whoa, that's the biggest shot I've seen. Still coming over, still coming over. Oh, it's going to be a good show, hopefully. Didn't go under my net. Whoa. Let's check those ones out. I just turned the camera off, and then next minute, they're coming over. I won't put them in my, my bucket jet, but just to show you guys. Look at that. Oh, oh the good ones too. The nice white bait. Oh man, I better put them in the bucket. I might jinx myself. Oh, oh there, yeah, nice ones. Look at that. Hey, okay, I was going to go home earlier on. Look at these ones. Here they come. Ready? Oh, look at those. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah boy. On the outgoing tide too. Come some more, little little shoal. Just a shame you guys can't see them. Get as excited as I am. Yep, got some more little ones there. Must be the last rush, eh, before they come some more. Whoa. Yeah, they're coming in. Coming in, my neck. Coming in. Look at them. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, check those ones out. Oh, another good. Oh, some more. Yep, yep, yep. Far out. Beautiful. Oh. Aren't you guys glad that I didn't go home? You wouldn't have seen this. The wind's died down a bit. Come some more coming in. Straight into my net. Oh, see? They're going that fast. That. Let me just go in. Look at some more. Oh. oh please go in. Yeah. Oh, do they go in? We'll have a look later. Get net back in the water. Whew. Come some more. Well, oh, yeah, must be a whole room in. A school of them coming in. Schools of shoals. Well, we have a nice lunch today. Come some more, more. They're coming in. Yep, they're coming in, all right. Yep. <laughs> now these are the best ones all day. Far out. Come some more. Still coming in, still coming in. Still coming in. Pouring in, pouring in. Man, they're going fast too. Right. Hopefully my knots, my knots good. This is gonna be the biggest lot all day. Come some more. Oh yeah. You guys just can't see what I'm seeing.
yeah they're pouring over right oh more more Shit. I just can't see them. They're going straight on my net. Come on. Come on. Still coming over. Still coming over. Still coming over. Heck. 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 Come on. Still coming over. Come on. Whoa. Still coming in. Oh, I gotta. I gotta give it a shake. Oh, still coming over, guys. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a big, big show, big ball. Still coming in my net. Still coming in. Yep, keep coming in, keep coming in. Oh, the buddy wind. Back him some more. Hope my yep, yeah, more coming in. Hope my net holds. My knot, I mean. Exciting. Yep, just going in. Yep, these little ones too. Yep, still coming over my marker. Yep, still coming over. And right, you guys ready for this? Oh. <laughs> no way. Have a look at this. I was up for a big bunch of white bait. Look at that. Big baseball size. Look at them. Man, I'm so happy about this, guys. And I was going to go home. I can't believe it. Have a look. Open this up. You ready? Ready for this? Look. Oh, yeah, boy. Look. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's pretty awesome. You know what? I can go home now. I'll be happy, man. Look at that. I keep on scooping and there we have another little softball size and man it's starting to get really windy Are you ready watch these ones here they come I gotta go man, posing down now. Got enough. Get out of here. Let's get another little shoal. See? Yeah, let's get out of here, girl. Look at this man. It's crazy stuff. Probably home now. I've just done a few things uh, online on YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, man, it absolutely hosed you and it got saturated. Running back to the car with all my gears. And uh, went to pack and spend, got some eggs and some bread and stuff. And then um, went back outside and it looked like it was going to be fine again. So I thought, oh, I might go down to the river again and, and give another blast for a little bit. But now I came home. 
because uh, I had enough and I was wet, very wet. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys my catch for today. I'm going to actually to spend a bit of time cleaning it. And I'll show you the catch from yesterday. But at the same time, but because we had all that rain last night and this morning, the difference in what a bit of fresh in the water does for white baiting. So um, yeah, check this out. So that's yesterday's catch. It's about four hours worth of work to get that. And that is today's catch. The difference, this one would have been probably two and a half hours, if that. So there's yesterday's catch and today. See the difference, bit of bit of rainwater just makes them the white bait get excited and they wag their tails and they just come pouring and right so now is the hard job of cleaning right guys so this is the sorting out got some inangas on here bigger ones I'm gonna eat those we got our other white bait Aaron's doing some over there as well we're just trying to get all the bits of leaf and little miniature crab in there where we came from and twigs and sticks and pumice and all that sort of stuff oops to be talking putting all, all my pumice and sticks on top of my white bait and dork <laughs> uh, see the stress of doing this sort of job that's what we do you just sort it out Nothing's worse than having a fritter and then you crunch on something. Doesn't it don't taste very nice. Yeah, it's the biggest job, but yeah, you gotta do it. So the ending is in here. The sun's out again. Kristen, look. Aaron's helping me today. Look. Yeah, Aaron. I better help. Otherwise, what? I always eat it. Yeah, see it, Kristen. Yeah. See, I taught her well, haven't I? Not. Oh well, we'll carry on. Two hours later, I'll still be here. Well, we've just cleaned the white bait. It's taken us an hour, over an hour to clean. And what we have here, I'll show you guys, is... Nearly three pounds. We've got some silver bellies here. And then our white bait. So these silver bellies, I'm just going to uh, cook up a bit of flour nothing wrong with eating those some people don't like them but they actually very tasty see the difference in in color between those ones and in your white bait so we are now going to cook up a white bait fritter now I'll just put them into bags for the freezer Two, three, four, five bags, a bag of silver bellies, and then that's what we're going to have for a bit of a snack this afternoon. Me and my helper. Right, so we're going to cook up our white bait fritters. I'm going to be using two eggs for this much white bait. Some say one egg, half an egg, no eggs, but hey. I caught it, so I'm going to do it how I want to do it. So I'm going to do it here, we just crack two eggs into the bowl. Which is a nice looking eggs too, those ones. I'll just twist that. Get nice eggs. 
get some pepper into there, add some salt, a little bit of salt, and as you guys know, I love my bit of lemon and dill seasoning, add a bit of that, lemon and dill, not too much, but that will give it a nice little flavour on the old fritters, be enough there, just mix that in, Add a white bait in there, like that. Yeah, some have fritters and some egg white thingy majigs and flour and blah blah, but you know, sometimes you just gotta have it just like this. Like it how you want it. And okay, we'll just hold that in there. Gonna, oh, that looks nice. Got my little maple. Come over here. Look, the pan is hot. I've got butter in the pan there. Nice and warm. Just gonna add some little. Oh, yeah, look. These are gonna be nice. Three on there. Let that cook for a couple of minutes and flip them over. Yeah, man, don't they look beautiful? White baked fritters. That's how you guys do it. That's how we do it here. Out there doing it, cooking it, eating it. That's us, man. Who wants some of these? Me. Oh, I'm talking to you. <laughs> talking to, to my viewers. Hey. <laughs> I was going to say, who wants some of these? And I can't even hear you, so that means nobody wants them, so it's just us. Let's turn these over and see what they look like. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, 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 those are nice, actually nice eggs, these ones. Oh yeah, here we go. That won't take long. I'll give it about half a minute and they'll be cooked. Now they're ready. Got my little bread roll here. I'm gonna put that fritter. Pick a bit. Yeah. Put the fritter in the bread roll. Man, I miss my other camera person. Where is she? She's a drama. And that's how we do it. Double white bait fritter in a roll. Let's put it over there. Fold it over like that. Oh, oh, look at that. It's got butter in the red rolls well. I mean, you're not. You to film the food, not the wall. Is that right? No. Yeah, I'm over here now. Do you want me to get you? Yeah, I'd be nice to you to get me. <laughs> I am the star of the show, I told you before. What's this, guys? Am I in frame? Yes. Put that in frame as well. My bed fritter? Yes. The bread roll? Is it focused? Yeah. Well, not the bread roll. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Is it still? Oh, you just hold it there. You just hold it, I think. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Double white bait. Fritter and a bread roll. Oh, yeah. Now, you know what happens next, guys? This happens next. Watch this. Really? Mmm. Mmm. That's better than the last one I had. That's really nice. Look at that. 
beautiful tasty white bait. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yum. Well, that was worth getting wet for today. Mmm. Yeah, and that's so delicious. Yeah, lemon dill seasoning on there as well. It really makes it. Some guys put a squirt of lemon juice on there, but no, I just have it like that. Yeah, this is the best way to have it. So try it one day with lemon and dill. You know, I like it with anything else. Fish, smoked fish. Mmm. Oh. Beautiful guys. Well, I'm going to cook the other white bait up. So thank you for watching. And hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I had the best day ever today. Love catching those shoals, it was pretty really awesome. Best white bait session in probably five years, that one. I might get it tomorrow as well. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Bye. Mm. Huh? Still recording. That one. No, it's that one, no. Bye, guys. Yeah, that one.